Hello, I'm John Stout, an officer and shareholder at Fredrickson and Byron, and I'm pleased to be speaking with you on the subject of artificial intelligence as we see it at Fredrickson. So thinking about artificial intelligence, the first thing I'd comment on is like any development which is emerging and emerging rapidly and spreading rapidly, there are lots of words and phrases which are associated with artificial intelligence. So you'll see augmented learning, you'll see machine learning, you'll see big data, you'll see deep learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, neural networks, Internet of Things, robotics, automation, virtual reality, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and the black box problem. There are many legal practices as we've looked at AI involved in artificial intelligence. And those include intellectual property, and particularly protection and licensing, securities, and there we've seen it in many ways, private equity and venture finance, angel financing, and then mergers and acquisitions, where you'll see it in agreements, in the analysis of artificial intelligence programming, if that's involved in the transaction. You'll see it in due diligence, in uh, contracts and the representations and warranties. You'll see it in pricing and even in earnouts. It's also in life sciences and healthcare. Many applications in life sciences and healthcare. Real estate, robotics and automation, bankruptcy and insolvency, energy, litigation, banking and financial services, human resources, insurance, government relations as we get legislation and regulation involving artificial intelligence and its use, business organizations, and the governance of those organizations, uh, as well as entertainment and virtual reality. At Fredrickson, our work includes, and we've certainly seen much of what I just mentioned, but I want to focus on uh, some areas of uh, particular interest and experience at Fredrickson. That includes intellectual property and the protection and licensing of intellectual property. And then the area of life sciences and healthcare applications, including personalized medicine, which is very interesting. We've done one project already for a group of software developers that were using software to approach the issue of Alzheimer's disease and how to deal with Alzheimer's disease. We've seen it in data security and privacy and e-discovery where we've used uh, applications there and we've also dealt with a number of data security issues. We've seen and used artificial intelligence software in e-discovery applications. Certainly, we've worked with it in private equity and venture finance, as well as angel finance. As you know, this is an area where really billions of dollars of investment are, are flowing at the moment. Uh, very significant, very rapidly developing 
area as a result of tremendous um, capital interest in the area. We've encountered artificial intelligence programming in the securities area, thinking about uh, risk and disclosure. And also, again, in related financing transactions. We've seen it in mergers and acquisitions, as I explained earlier, in due diligence, contract negotiations, representations and warranties, et cetera. We've seen applications in the real estate area where you would be aware of smart buildings, smart homes, and that's where you see the Internet of Things. That is the ability to connect different items, your lights, your heating system, your music systems, et cetera, and activate those through voice activation. We've also, in the real estate area, seen it in environmental uh, applications. In the area of energy, where we have a significant practice, we've seen it in energy controls, energy allocation on the grid, and again, there you see it with smart buildings. In the field of banking and related financial services, we've seen it in uh, the investment management area where we assisted an investment management client in developing a robo-advisor platform for investment advisory services. In business organizations, we've, we've seen it in the formation, not so much in the application directly to formation, but we have formed companies where artificial intelligence is going to be one of the principal developed activities, and as well as capitalization as substantial funds are flowing into uh, capitalizing businesses which are developing artificial intelligence software. And in the governance of business organizations where we've looked at advisory versus fiduciary boards, board organizations, and duties, and in particular, their oversight responsibilities with respect to software such as AI programs, as those programs uh, pose some unique ethical and compliance considerations and challenges. And we've seen it in litigation, intellectual property litigation in particular with respect to rights and licensing and disputes which arise, as well as commercial litigation. And in closing, I'd also like to point out that Fredrickson not only consults with clients about artificial intelligence matters, but we also use artificial intelligence to improve client service efficiency and cost effectiveness. We use software programs which convert files into machine-readable form and then use machine learning models to identify specific concepts, clauses, words, etc. We use the software also to analyze documents submitted by clients and other third parties for M&A due diligence, business negotiations, litigation discovery, and other related purposes. To date, we've analyzed and reviewed over 14,000 documents using this software. And using the same software, we analyze and review documents which we prepare for consistency, clarity, and related purposes to speed up our reviews and use attorney time more efficiently. Lastly, we're 
exploring the use of another software product which automates internet research and scanning for violations of clients' trademarks and service marks, as well as their copyrights, and also for reviewing uh, counterfeiting of client products and marks, where that can be an issue as well. I've appreciated the time to speak with you on this fascinating, rapidly evolving, transformative subject of artificial intelligence. Certainly, if you have questions or comments, I'd be pleased to respond, and you may reach me at the contact information provided on the screen. Thanks again for your attention.